So, here we are, down at Virginia. We've just done a blind test with some golf balls. How many was there? About 11. There was 11 golf balls. So, yep. we, we've, uh, I blanked out all the numbers, yep. and Richo can't see this, so I've got a little, a little bit of a dot system. Richo yep. has had no idea, so I've got a dot system, one no. dot all the way through 11. No. I was saying, I just put them down, I putted, put them down, hit them. I have no idea. Look, I did pick out the Bridgestone. It does have a dip, different dimple pattern than so, anything so else. One of them, I'll, you yeah. know, you, you, you'll see something with what each dot was, but number yep. two was the Bridgestone B330S. Yeah, the it, dimple like pattern's said, very different. It is definitely different. Yeah. So, but when I putted, I didn't have a, a close look. To no, it. so I actually put I, the, the, the dots down so you couldn't see. Yep, so it wasn't until I picked that ball up and you go, yep, yeah, that's uh, Bridgestone. Otherwise, I've got no idea. So no Richard's idea. got no idea. We've done this. Like I said, yep. there's 11 balls. Yep. And we've gate. Well, we've basically gone through them all. Rich has chosen his top three out of each. So for putting, as you'll see in, in the um, in the fast forward, Rich has chosen his three favourites. Yep. And, and then we've chosen one, two, and three from there in that order. Yep. So the best ball. So number one got three points. Number two got two points. Number three got one point. Yep. Across putter, chipping, and then iron shots. Cool. Yep. So there's a couple of ties for thirds. Alright, so well, why don't we go with those first? Yeah, so we'll, we'll start so we'll with thirds. From, yep. So we'll start with thirds. So uh, there was a couple that you gave... Alright, let's start with the one dot. One dot got two points, along with all these other ones which got two points. Number yep. one got two points, which was the TaylorMade TP. Alright. Cool? Yeah. So I got two points. Uh, number four got two points also, which was the uh, foremost X3. Alright, which is one of the balls that I... You, you have enjoyed at. that in the yep. past. Now. Number, what do we got there? Number nine yep. has got two points also, so tied third. Yeah. Q Star. Q Star, all right. One that I haven't really sort of used, so. And that's an interesting one. So, yeah. so Richo said off the off the putter, firm feel. He said off the irons, um, soft feel, spin. Um, and then he said, like it, beautiful. Yeah, for, I thought, I thought for I hitting did, an iron. I did want to spin off the, the week, so, which I don't get a lot of spin on. Cool, so that's literally that done. So that's hitting putts, that's hitting uh, wedges, that's chipping, and that's hitting an ironing. Yep. Rich has tried to look at all this, tried to... Anyway, so number so there's, two. there's three balls I could buy. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So yep. number two will come in the second best. From your feel, no numbers. We haven't got any numbers at all. No, 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 we just purely did it on flight feel. Flight feel, sound, all yep, the fun sound. stuff. Now, number second, the second, the second spot, the number two spot is... Yes. The 2017 Titleist Pro V1X. <laughs> there you go. So, Richo, okay. gave, Richo said it was the second best in putting. He said yep. pretty good, um, good softness. Yep. He said it was too firm off of a little bit of a wedge shot. Yep. But he gave it the number one off hitting a full shot. Full line shot. Yep. He said clicky sound but beautiful. Yeah. So a little bit of a louder sound but beautiful. Louder sound but yeah, flight. To me, look really good. Yeah, yep. that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so everybody that says there's something about the Titleist, uh, oh, oh, they're not that great of a ball from a sound and feel point of view. Number two, now number one, yep. and I would say a resounding win. Really, I mean, it finished with seven points out of a maximum of nine points. Number three, which was a Snell My Tour golf ball, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're there you go. All right. Snell might to a golf ball. He's number one with the putter. Uh, not bad, not hard, not soft. This, yeah. this, these are Richo's words. Yeah, yeah, you know, I felt it was nice off the putter. Yes. And, and I love to pick a ball from a putter up. Yeah, which is, which is fantastic. Yeah. From a wedge shot, little chip shots, yeah. said um, a firmer than number nine, which was the... The chromes, uh, which was the uh, Z, uh, the Q star. Q star, yep. So, but you you didn't say it was bad, but you chose no. that as number one. Yep. For your chipping. Yep. Yep. And then for your full iron shots, it was number three. So it got two, uh, three, three, and one point. So seven points total. All right. So the Snell My Tour ball, yep. number one for right. Richo, 2017 Pro One X for Richo for number two, and then a Ooh. couple at number three. So Q star. Foremost X3 and the TaylorMade Tour Preferred. Last year's Tour very, Preferred, not, not this year. Alright. Uh, Snell, I'm happy to... Happy to sign a contract. Some, take some golf balls. 
Um, yeah, maybe I might have to uh, get a couple of boxes and uh, might give them. Might speak give, to David and do it properly. Yeah. yeah, give them a good run. Yeah, so, yeah. so if you haven't seen it, I've done a little review on the Snow My Tool Ball. Yep. It, there's probably two balls in the market that's here. I, yep. I'm actually not doing this test. Yep. It's only going to be Richo. Hopefully, we can get Softy and Kieran to do it as well. Maybe yep. even James, if James is around. Um, but I did say probably the two favourite balls of the year were the Bridgestone B330S and the Snell My Tour Ball. Yeah. It's funny because I, I did just a putting test with the two boys. Yep. And and both those boys both picked the Pro V1. Yep. Which was interesting because yep. they know nothing about balls. The other picks were a little bit here and there. Yep. Um, when I putted with the two ball, when I putted with the, the same, we had about a dozen balls. Yes. Um, do you know what the three I liked out of that was the Snell, <laughs> the Foremost, and the Strix and Softfield. Yeah, which, okay, which is similar to a Q Star, but not, yeah, you know, not quite. Yeah, similar to a Q Star. So, yeah, interesting that that even when I did that, yep. I couldn't sort of quite pick it home when I did the putting between the sort of Snell and the Foremost. Yep. But I, I certainly thought it felt well made. Yeah. So basically, so. Richo's gone ahead, hit three putts with each, he's hit a chip with each, chosen the best, and he's hit an iron with each, and chosen the best. So we could do drivers, that's just going to take too long, and look, it's not really... Oh, okay. We're probably going to lose golf balls. So. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, guys, there you go. So, uh, number yeah, one, actually. Snell My Tour golf ball for Richo. Yep. Number two, probably one X 2017, so the one coming out. Yep. And then the, um, a couple there, TaylorMade Tour Preferred, Foremost X3, and the Q-Star. Beautiful. Interesting, right. guys. So go ahead and try to do your own test if you can. Oh, look, even if it's just putting. Exactly. It's putting and chipping, you don't have to go and hit full no. shots and everything else. But get out there, like I said, very interesting, a couple of those balls that I'd done at home, still here, not knowing what the balls were, still came out. Really Turned well. out the top. But it does show me one thing, that I probably am due to click up to a, a better test, golf ball. Get a better golf ball. Which was one of the reasons why I did the whole putting test at home. Yes. And obviously this as well. To see, is it worth my effort to buy some better golf balls? Yes. And clearly it seems like it is. From a field point of view and a, and a visual on the flight. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Without seeing numbers, Sound it's not going it's it's not, it's not to hurt you to go to my tour ball. No, clearly not. All right, guys. I'll send you an email, though. Yeah, Dave, we'll be talking to you soon. But, guys, thanks for checking out the video. We're hopefully going to do a lot Good more fun. of this. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to do some comparisons between golf balls that have been in water for a week compared yep. to golf balls that are fresh. Yep. yep. Maybe even in oil, maybe yep. even in coke. I'll do yep. something just actually, as a bit of muck around. Oh, here we go. one of the balls, right, that did stand out to me with the putter and the wedge and the irons was the Forte Apex 6. Y yes simply due to the sound and the feel to it. it it very distinct isn't it i didn't know that that was the one yep. but i had a feeling that that do you know what it's not a bad ball but oh it's if you're looking for some sound and feel yeah it's probably not so really... the apex six was number five as in the five dot off the putter richo said loud sound firm feel off the wedge loud firm not bad and off the iron it was a hard click. Yeah, yeah, I felt that it definitely made a louder sound. And you know, I have hit that one with a driver, and it has a really loud sound. Stay, so. stay tuned for the Apex Six review. It'll either yeah. be out just before this or just yep. after this. Yep. Either way, check out some more stuff. But guys, that's literally it. My scribble, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out the video. Like if you like what we're doing, and uh, subscribe yeah. if you can, please. Yeah that button down that way. Get out and test some balls. Exactly right. Test it for yourself. Yeah. Yep. We'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. Beautiful.